Hello everyone, this is your boy Hunter Jaeger, back at it again for the first time with a podcast. We, we do Today I am here with Mason and Ryan, both people who sometimes make music in, on their computer systems. Say hi, Mason and Ryan. Hi, Mason and Ryan. <laughs> so uh, today we're, we have some questions. <laughs> <laughs> let, so, let me do this. Okay. okay. Uh, how long have you been making music with you? Um, like, five years. Five years? Ish. Nice, dude. I don't know if this really counts, because I wasn't making it, but I was playing it. I used to play the clarinet in oh. sixth grade, and I kind of sucked at it. Okay, but how long have you been, like, actually making music? On my computer, probably, like, half a year. <laughs> probably, yeah. Yeah, and I just wanted to get uh, two different, like, experiences for questions. So, Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think is the hardest part about making music? I think like it's the same with like drawing. You have an image in your head of what you want it to be, but when you're trying to make it, sometimes it just doesn't turn out the way that you're trying to like have the final product be. But sometimes that's that can be a good thing because it ends up being better than what you imagined. But like most of the time, like seventy five percent of the time, it ends up like not being as good as you as i envisioned so i've got two things uh the first thing is mostly the writer's block basically i just sometimes can't think of anything to make like i've got like cycles for i do gaming and i do music a lot and like sometimes i do more gaming because i'm a a gamer i'm a fellow gamer and sometimes i do more music and uh during those times, I just can't think of anything to make music. And uh, yeah. the other hard part is mastering the music. That's pretty difficult. Trying to make it sound good on all systems, I'd say. Yeah, because sometimes you have to get like the proper chords to like harmonize together and stuff. Oh, I'm talking about like ma- mixing and mastering, as in oh, like audio mixing. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get your sound yeah. good. <laughs> make it sound good. Audio more. mixing is whack, dude. Okay. Because. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay uh, so like uh how do you make music like what equipment or instruments do you use or do you play any instruments i use oh i play piano guitar trombone and i play the synth Whoa. that's the instruments i use and I, I use a keyboard and mouse if that counts it's pretty fun so i know it's pretty unprofessional but I use FL Studio, which I'm upgrading myself. I'm transitioning over to Ableton. I'm trying to, you know, up my skill. But FL Studio is a good way to get started, you know? That's true. We all started in FL Studio. Yeah, it's the the easiest one. More professional, so I've heard. But FL Studio is still pretty great, in my opinion. And FL stands for Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. Yes. (laughs) And Ableton stands for Ableton. And for instruments, um, I'm teaching myself to play keyboard. And I, uh, s- exclusively playing the Minecraft theme and Take On Me. That's true. <laughs> Those are the only two songs I've ever heard you play. And um, whenever I, whenever, when I make a song, I like to use piano as like the main instrument because I think piano can really work with any genre if it's yeah. used correctly. And that's just like really easy to start with too. Yeah, because it, you know, it can do every note pretty much. Yeah. It's basic but complex. Because it has chords and stuff, but also it can still sound good just with singular notes on their own. For me, I usually, like, just how I make my music is, um, I just uh, throw out a bunch of ideas for myself, and I try building on those ideas. And uh, most of the time, they just get stuck in a folder. And Same. most of the time, they're just named random things like Beans or Dad. <laughs> or Usually... Usually I like name my music after a feeling it conveys to me. So I'll like listen to it and I'm like, you know what? This sounds like broken rain or this sounds like a new era. (laughs) New era. No. (laughs) So yeah, that's just how I title my music. It's just like based on like the first words I think of that come with a feeling, you know? Yeah. Because like maybe if something, maybe if a song is like upbeat and like kind of like mysterious I think new era because it it engages it, it engages your thought because it's like yeah. yeah it's pretty interesting yeah 
That's epic. Yeah. Usually, I it's like you wouldn't really think of that. There's a ton of like extra stuff that never gets shown to the public, but that's like drafts and the creative process. Yeah. But obviously, you wouldn't want to just delete it because you can base yourself off of it and learn from it. Mm-hmm. Like I have a bunch of little like tunes and stuff I've created that I haven't even put in like. We use all we all use Discord to like share stuff that we work on together, and yeah. like I have a bunch of stuff I haven't even like put in Discord because it's like, some of them turn out good, some of them turn out bad, you know. Yeah. It's all a learning experience. Yeah. Okay. How long does it usually take to make music? For me. Okay. So. Okay. You go. All right. Sorry. Um, like if I'm making like a twenty second like sample for something I would like like to make into a full length song. I've only made like two full length songs, so from my experience, it's like two days max because I should spend yeah. more time on them, but it's, it usually takes around that time because like if it's a lot of sit down hours, you know, I think I work at a fast pace. Yeah. So, but like with a sample, it takes like a, a few hours for me, but there's always like going back to it and editing it. So like over time, you know, it takes a lot more, but mm -hmm. for me, I actually just, uh, Start working on a, like a main melody, and I, add, and I add some crap, and it usually just stays in a folder for like a month, or maybe a half a month. Because I'm constantly creating new ideas, and uh, yeah. if I ever like sit down and like open up one of those folders and decide uh, to like actually add stuff, uh, it usually goes like to halfway through a song, and then uh, finally finish the song, which for maybe like still a half a month because that part's pretty quick, and then I have to like master the music, what mix and master it, which. Maybe takes like half a week at most. Uh, then I have to wait for it to go up on SoundCloud. I, no, I have to wait for it to go up on Spotify. I mean, which takes like a month. Oh, really? They have to like approve it? Yeah. I've actually never thought about that. Like the process to uploading it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what do you want to end up doing with your music? Well, I want to end up maybe probably... Get it making it popular, obviously. I think everyone wants their music to be popular. But do you want it yeah. to be like uh, a career or a hobby? I want it to be known, so like a hobby, basically. I, I do want to sell music and take a... Yeah, that's pretty much what everyone wants to do with their creative yeah. stuff. I also want my music to be in like... I mean, having music and animation is pretty cool. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Something to do with uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and what about you, Mason? So, like, as an artist, I really want to make a project that consists of art and music. So I think a cool endgame project for me would be to create this album. But each pretty. music video is part of a, an animated story, and they're, like, episodes. So oh. it's like a, like an album usually has, like, 15 songs or something like that, right? So, like, it would be a 15-episode series. And each episode is the entire thing is a song, and I think that'd be super cool because it's a mix of the two things I love, you know. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Yeah, and I also want to become like better with my vocal ranges because I'm not the best singer, and I want to become good at singing because you know I think every yeah. mu musician wants to be, you know. So yeah, that's, know, that's what I want to do. Yeah. Um, do you listen to your own music like regularly? Like if you would just like sit down, and you think, hmm, I want to listen to music. Usually after school, like when I'm waiting for my ride, I like to listen to my music so I can kind of reflect on like what I could change about them. Because I, some people I know say that it's like egotistical to listen to your own music. But the reason I'm making music is because it's what I like to listen to. I make the stuff I, I like to listen to. So it's like, of course I listen to it, you know? I mean, I sometimes like to listen to my own music, but most of the time, uh, just listen to random crap on spotify but like if i'm in a car ride and it's pretty long and i have like nothing else to listen to i just listen to like all my songs in order mm -hmm. i guess on i don't really have a playlist so check out my spotify journal medic oh, lead speed <laughs> yeah Flight i usually just like scroll through my discord history and i'm like i want to give this one a listen because I, like i said earlier i want to figure out what i can change about it you know yeah i like i've heard uh like interviews from bands where they were asked if they listen to their own music and they say sometimes but it's usually kind of weird because we know the whole process and it's not just like this is good music it's like i made this. yeah that's how i feel to be honest i'm not saying i'm not saying i exclusively listen to mine 
because yeah. I um, I listen to mine the least out of like all the other music I have, but like you know. Yeah, because obviously you have influences and inspirations and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty cool. And that's a great way to transition to our last question. Yeah. What are your inspirations? Okay, I have a lot. So, Hunter, you actually introduced me to a couple of these uh, musicians. Neil Ciceriga is one of my favorite musicians because, like, he makes such wacky sounding music, but that's what I love about it because Mm -hmm. it doesn't sound like a blatant copy of anything. It really just sounds like its own thing most of the time, and that's what I love about it. Yeah, and you've had a a few tracks that were inspired by him. I do, yeah. Like City of Ants or something? Yeah, um, uh, what is that called? March, uh... I don't know. Something Ants in the City. Ants. It's called Ants in the City. Yeah. Yeah, that was inspired by one of his songs called Spiral of Ants with the guitar, like the plucks. Yeah. It's pretty cool. The, yeah. It has a great bass line. Um, any other inspirations? Oh, yeah. So Cage the Elephant is a really good band. I don't know if either of you guys listen to them, but like, no. they made songs like Ain't No Rest for the Wicked, and they've made songs like oh. Cigarette Daydreams. Um come a little closer they make some really good music spiderhead is one of my favorite songs they've made because it just sounds so cool it has a similar bass line that spiral advance has actually with the guitar it sounds really cool and um bruh aha uh-huh, uh-huh. take on me am i right <laughs> <laughs> okay and what about you ryan well i got just a couple of inspirations uh most of them are just artists uh the first one is more like three ish. Well, I really like Tali Hall, obviously. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love oh those yeah. Guys. I also like Disaster Piece. They they inspire me, and mostly it's Dead Mouse, but is it's like Fraction inspires me. Just part yeah. of them. Yeah, it's part of everyone. Also, I forgot to mention, there's a band called Siamese that I really oh, like. Yeah. I don't... Because they have this one song called The Wolf, and it's an animated music video, and the animation is freaking awesome. They actually have two animated awesome. music videos. Yeah. It's, the other it's one's just, Mr. Fear, and they're both animated yeah, very well. Mr. Fear is really good, too. It's They're awesome. Mr. Fear bad. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God. I'm a rose. Water yeah. bottle. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of uh, most of those. Except for Cage the Elephant, but I think they're all pretty great artists. You should listen to Cage the Elephant. It's good. I it's probably like will. rock. You should pull Yeah, I like rock. It. Yeah, Spotify. rock is good. It's pretty epic, to be honest. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Well, I think that's, that's it. <laughs> all right, really that's it, boys. Pack up. <laughs> okay, guys, bye. <laughs> <laughs>